Hey traders, in today's video, I'm excited to share a powerful strategy that uses the super trend indicator along with another trend indicator. This combination has given an amazing 738% return in just one year. The strategy is easy to follow and can lead to big profits. Make sure to watch the whole video as I'll show back test results to show how effective this strategy is. Before we start, Make sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of my latest videos. Let's get straight to it. Let's get started by introducing our first key indicator, the super trend. The super trend indicator is a useful tool that helps us see the overall market direction by showing if an asset is going up or down. It uses the average true range to measure price changes, making it good for spotting trend reversals and riding strong moves. For our setup, we'll use an ATR length of 10 and set the factor to 4. This setup finds a nice balance between being sensitive and stable, helping to avoid false signals while still catching good trend movements. Next, we're going to improve our strategy by adding a second indicator, the exponential moving average. The MA is a popular tool that gives more weight to recent price data, so it reacts faster to market changes than a simple moving average. For our setup, we'll use the 50 period EMA as our trend filter to confirm the trade direction. When the price is above the 50 EMA, we'll look for buy opportunities. And when it's below, we'll focus on short opportunities. Now that we've set up both indicators, let's talk about how they work together to give us our trading signals. We're trading on the 30 minute time frame, and our strategy has two key conditions for entering a trade. Condition one, 50 EMA. We will only think about entering long trades when the closing price is above the 50 EMA. This shows us that the market is going up, and we want to trade with that trend. Condition 2. Super trend. Our second condition is that the super trend indicator must also show an uptrend. Once both conditions are met, the price is above the 50 EMA, and the super trend indicator shows an upward signal, we enter a long trade. We have two clear signals for exiting a trade. Super trend exit signal. The first exit condition happens when the super trend indicator flips and shows a downtrend. When this occurs, we close the trade to protect our profits or reduce possible losses. Fixed take profit. The second exit condition is a fixed take profit at 15%. Once our position reaches a 15% profit, we close the trade and secure those gains. Now let's talk about short trades. This process is the opposite of our long trade strategy. Condition 1, 50 EMA. We will only enter short trades when the closing price is below the 50 EMA. This shows us that the market is going down, and we want to take advantage of that. Condition 2, super trend. The second condition is that the super trend indicator must show a downtrend. So when both conditions match, a closing price below the 50 EMA and the super trend showing a downtrend, we start a short trade to benefit from the market's drop. Exit conditions for short trades. Whether you're in a long or short trade, the exit signals are the same. One, super trend. Exit signal. You will exit your position when the super trend changes. For a short trade, this means exiting when it changes to an uptrend. Two, fixed take profit. You can also exit based on a fixed take profit. For both long and short trades, we set this to 15%, meaning you'll close the trade once your profit reaches 15%. Now that we understand how the strategy works, let's explore how we can optimize it for even better performance. The testing time frame is set to 30 minutes and we'll optimize the strategy over an eight month period. To ensure the strategy's robustness, we'll also use four months of out of sample data to test it on unseen market conditions. One of the key points here is to avoid overfitting. Overfitting happens when a strategy only works well during the optimized period, but fails on new data. To prevent this, we'll be using fewer parameters and testing the strategy on out-of-sample data, which is critical for stability and long-term success. Here are the parameters we'll be adjusting during the optimization process. One, super trend length. We'll test lengths from 10 to 16 to find the best one for catching market trends. Two, super trend factor. We'll test factors from two to five to fine tune it. Three. EMA length, we'll be testing the 50 EMA, 100 EMA, and 200 EMA to see which one works best for trend identification. Four, max distance, percent. This ensures that the price must exceed the EMA by a certain percentage 
before triggering an entry signal. The purpose is to filter out minor breakouts and reduce the risk of false signals. We'll optimize this value at 2%, 4%, and 6%. 5. Finally, we'll optimize the take profit levels at 5%, 10%, 15%, and 20%. This allows us to determine the most profitable and realistic target for different market conditions. To find the best set of parameters, we'll use FreakTrade, a trading bot written in Python, to run the optimization. If you want to learn more about FreakTrade or how to set it up, check the link in the description below. After optimizing our strategy, let's dive into the backtesting results. We've been trading GRT USDT contracts on the Binance platform, and the results have been great. Over an eight month optimization period, followed by four months of out of sample testing, which gives us a full year of data, our strategy achieved an impressive 738% overall return with a sharp ratio of 1.76. The maximum drawdown during this time was only 12%, showing that the strategy is strong and manages risk well. To put this in simple terms, a basic buy and hold strategy would have given just a 63% return. This big difference shows how well our trading strategy works compared to a passive investment approach. The strategy did well in both market directions. Long positions made a return of 304%, while short positions earned 434%. This shows that the strategy is profitable in both rising and falling markets. Now, let's look at the visual summary section. Here, the trade logs give a clear breakdown of each trade made during the year. The cumulative profit curve shows a steady upward trend, indicating that we achieved consistent gains during both the optimization period and the out of sample data. This visualization helps us feel confident that the strategy performs well even in unseen data. If you're interested in exploring this strategy further, we've made the strategy code and configuration available for download. You can find the link in the description below. Plus, you can easily modify the settings to test it with different cryptocurrencies, timeframes, or even experiment with various leverage levels to suit your personal trading style. As always, if you learn something new or want to see more videos, please subscribe, click the notification bell, and share this video on WhatsApp, Facebook, or Twitter to show your support. See you next time.